I remember I saw you guys play live here in LA when you were all playing lemurs. Was there like a kind of crossover between you guys DJing together and like turning into like a performance unit? And was yeah, that part sure. of the ethos that affected how you actually designed not just the record, but like who you are as a band as a whole? Yeah, Drink the Sea was was that defining moment of like, okay, we don't want to be three guys on a lemur just doing quantized kind of like mind fuckery, like glitched out beats and stuff like <laughs> right. that. We want to approach this of like, if we were going to play this like tom rhythm on mm -hmm. something whether it would be electronic or not mm -hmm. let's just play it and just like get that in and that's just what it is as opposed to like hard programming and things like that mm -hmm. um, we really approached the drink the sea process everything from writing it to performing it as we are a live band now and we didn't want to necessarily be club DJs. Mm -hmm. you know, was, I shouldn't say it, we didn't want to be. We just we wanted to explore the side of like, what if we were a band? What mm -hmm. if we didn't use Ableton and and audio trigger fingers and lemurs to play, you know, our music? What if we like found other ways to do it? I mean, we we definitely continued to use all that equipment and stuff, but mm -hmm. we just like really approached it more like a band you know we 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 went and like bought rolling v drum snares we mm -hmm. we you know we busted out bass and guitar we were using like synths on stage we you know we used the lemurs we used ableton as the backbone but mm -hmm. we you know we really went down that that rabbit hole really deep and and to be like all right we're going to perform as a band because we just felt like that's what the music just needed that's mm -hmm. what that's what it felt like um, the most honest way to get this new record across to people right, in a right. live setting. Awesome. Was there like a mm -hmm. moment when that like clicked in terms of executing it? Because it sound was it like driven as like an instinct that you knew that's how you wanted to present it? And then was there like quite a lot of figuring out the actual practicalities of making it happen to a point where it could become like second nature expression and like you could fucking rock without like having to it, check your emails kind of thing exactly exactly <laughs> that was that was a big part of it and it, was a, and it took a lot of exploring um once the record was like done shipped off to mastering we instantly changed gears into like okay how do we play this live right let's let's figure out how to play this live in keeping the essence of like rocking electronic music but we really just didn't want to be in a dj booth Hey, we hope you enjoyed that video. A couple of more links here for some talks we think you'll like. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and otherwise head over to completeproducer.net so that you can connect with other music making geniuses from all over the world. We'll see you there.